So red is all around me. Take a look and see. I thought I'd take time to just go, to go over what I do for her diaper care. night but when you wake up in your own bed it is a nice feeling um, even as much as we love to travel it's good to be home with this one she can kind of get back in her little routine um, she woke up this morning just staring straight up at the ceiling smiling like yes I know this place we just kind of woke up we've started a little morning routine again which is singing a couple songs in bed just to kind of slowly get up um, which honestly we should be able to get up much more quickly because she slept 13 hours this little one if we count from the plane um, to home she slept from 9 o'clock to 9 o'clock she slept on the plane and then in the car seat and then didn't even wake up when we moved her into her Moses basket so that was awesome we're gonna read some books kind of go some, through some things in the house unpack all of this craziness and then much more relaxing to do. So red is all around me. Take a look and see. Well, pause on reading time. We're currently having a blowout. <laughs> so hashtag real life moment. We thought we were having a cute little moment of reading a book and she blew out of her diaper. So that's actually a perfect time to go get one of her new diapers that came. We actually do the honest diapers. We feel like that's best for our family and they have the cutest winter prints. We didn't get to have the fall prints with the pumpkins, but we have a thing about foxes in this house. So one of my favorite prints that we'll put her in a day are the Arctic foxes. So cute. So Sage, that was a good segue to show them your new diapers, so thanks for the blowout. You're welcome. Being a mom, you have to do your cleaning and your errands and little breaks. So we accomplished cleaning an island. Just a countertop, just one. It's fine. But this cutie yeah. deserves attention and learning and growing. So hopefully we can get the rest of the house picked up and cleaned before tomorrow so we can put our Christmas decorations up. I hate to put Christmas decorations up and a dirty house. So we've got a lot to pick up, actually. This entire living room, dining room, the kitchen, unpacking, laundry. Um, but I will give you guys a basement update when we get down there. Um, there is a lot done, but it was supposed to be done. So I'll tell you more when we go down. But right now, um, I'm gonna air out the house because there's a lot of dust from the basement. Um, and with them painting, I don't want her kind of affected from all the craziness. So I always like to open the curtains these are closed, we're gonna open those up, get some fresh light in here, maybe open even the windows over there and just get some ventilation in here. Well, this girl is finally down for her nap. She slept, I think, for about an hour, which is shorter for her usual naps, but I think it's because she slept so much last night and she's kind of been everywhere, a little world traveler lately, but um, she seemed like she was sleeping deep, so I think she feels well rested. It's just, I only got the kitchen clean, but the kitchen is clean. I cleaned the refrigerator out, got lots of snacks put away, but we still have about six other rooms to clean, lots of laundry, lots of unpacking. So fingers crossed that it happens. But let's go say happy. Did you have a good nap? Did you just wake up to chew on your fingers? Okay, let's help mommy clean. It's time for tummy time. See how long this lasts. See the progression from happy to meltdown. Waking up with like these 
really loud cries, which she usually doesn't do. And I looked and I do see a little bit of white under her gums. So I think she's starting to teeth. So if you have any tips or anything you've done for your babies, nieces, nephews, siblings, anybody as a baby that has helped with teething, I would love, love, love the mom advice. But while she is sleeping, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little update on the basement because I am losing my mind and I need to vent. The good thing is they've done some work, but the problem is they were supposed to be done yesterday. They're not, so they're asking for another extension. Remember, we started this in March and it was sold as a six week project, but they do have the can lights in the living room down here. They have somehow spray painted the walls. I don't know what they're doing there. The doors are painted but need another coat and they're not hung, but that's still an improvement, so I'm not gonna get too mad. The shelves in the little coat closet are actually pretty awesome. We'll probably put games there. We are huge game people, by the way, fun fact. Um, that is one thing that attracted me to Colby's family and him is because they do lots of games in the summer when we go to their family um, Like vacation we would play games and cards every night So leave in the comments what your favorite games are. This is the laundry room It's still covered because it looks like there's got more painting to do so I'm unable to do any laundry Which is why I'm wearing the same shirt I wore yesterday in this room They've got these lights up here, which I actually cannot stand but hey I think it'll work. It's not the ones we got to pick, but um, for what we need down here, it works great. They've got the little hanger in the closet. This is the other guest room. Looks like they've got some more lights in here. They did the shelving in the closet here. They actually custom made these doors to look like the doors upstairs, and I do love them. They just need more paint, and they need a gloss finish, so we'll see if they do that. Storage room is crazy. The bathroom is crazy, but guess what? They've started subway tile. Look at it. So excited about that. I think it'll look really good when it's done. But they need to be done Friday because Andrew and Hannah are coming back from Michigan. They need a place to stay. We want to keep hanging out with them. We miss them. They've been gone too long. It's only been 12 hours. And Colby's dad and stepmom are coming in this weekend because they have not met Sage yet. They're coming all the way from Nashville. So please just keep sending us thoughts, prayers, wishes, vibes, whatever you're into about the basement because I think it is a lesson on patience for me. She is still sleeping. We've got our worship music playing and our speaker up there. It goes all through the house. She's woken up a couple times, but I'm gonna try to catch up on some DVR shows. In bed, there's the voice. There is, oh, what's the other one? Oh, this is us, but we have to wait until Andrew and Hannah get back for that one because we've been watching it with them. Look who I found. Make you girls awake. Hi. You slept for three whole hours. Mommy got to clean the whole house, do her makeup, watch the voice, eat. Say thank you. Say you're welcome, Mommy. I sure did. Hi. Give me those smiles. Give me those smiles. Hi. You're so joyful. You're so joyful. Are you ready for Daddy to come home? Yeah. Say Daddy's almost home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're not doing a whole lot today other than the cleaning, but not a lot that really is good to show you guys on a vlog, but I thought I'd take time to just go, to, go over what I do for her diaper care. So I already told you we use the Honest Diapers. We love them. We love their Honest Wipes. I even love their organic healing balm right here. Her Aunt Crystal is the one who told me about this. You can put it on scrapes or when you're a mom like me who cuts her fingernail and cuts her... Um, skin too deep with the clippers. You can put this right on there. Natural, organic. We use that on her bottom every single diaper change. Um, if we don't have that, we are loving the Tubby Todd. Um, this is the all over ointment, but what we really use this one for is after bath time because um, she had a little bit of baby eczema starting out. I think that's just kind of what newborns do. Um, but we do this every night after her bath. And then if we don't have either of those handy, coconut oil, you can put this stuff on anything. Um, there's like a list somewhere of 271 things you can do with coconut oil. This one is Honest Face and Body Lotion, and I use that quite a bit because um, it's not as um, creamy like what you need for a night oil to keep everything moisturized after a bath. Um, so just a quick daily lotion. Always sanitize after you use your hands. Um, lately we've been using this Germs Be Gone and it's an incredible hand sanitizer, so we keep that close. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else about like baby care that you wanna know. Um, 
because I'm learning just as many moms do kind of on the fly. So it's fun to talk about and get advice. Hey guys, what's up? We I got Emily him. here. <laughs> he doesn't work 24-7. <laughs> Most of the time I do. We just got out of small group with our church. Small group, life group, Bible study. It's yeah. all the same. Leave in the comments if you have one of those. We are going to Swig. It's a cookie place we really like. And I can't have enough dessert. Even though I just go back from New York City and basically gained 10 pounds, I need dessert. I got chocolate chip and cream cheese. My favorite. Way better than this one. No, it's not. He doesn't know. So we're gonna go ahead and close out the vlog for the night. Give us a thumbs up if you liked what you saw and be sure to subscribe to our channel too and just keep following our family. Don't forget to leave your questions down in the comments below and we'll get those answered in our Q&A coming up this week. I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.